It is no surprise that when it comes to preserving the dignity of the House of Commons, and especially during question period, it's a little like sending a hen to a dentist. Hens' teeth being only slightly more rare than fish plants in the Sahara, the operation is a waste of time for both parties. The current excitement that led on Tuesday to opposition leader Thomas Mulcair frustrated by PM parliamentary aide Paul Calandra challenging the partiality of the Speaker of the Commons suggests a few thoughts. First, as far as bedrock rules go, Mr. Mulcair went a challenge too far. Speaker Scheer is the Commons master of the rules. Now, one may challenge a Speaker's ruling, one may on occasion debate it, but save for extreme cases, stay away from impugning the Speaker's honor or his partiality. However, the Speaker's honor is not the whole of it. What about the functioning, and yes, the honor of question period? When Her Majesty's Leader of the Opposition rises to place a question on Canada's involvement in military action in a potential war, then the minister or aide who rises to answer might well do to treat both the question and the person asking it with respect and a seriousness appropriate for such a topic. But what we saw on Tuesday for Mr. Calandra was a kind of kindergarten taunting, a tiresome, juvenile, partisan ragging of Mr. Mulcair over some month old tweet. Mr. Calandra repeatedly baited the opposition leader like some class clown challenging the teacher. It was mannerless. Now the speaker cannot and should not interfere with answers or questions. But there must also be a role to tell government ministers and aides that they have a serious responsibility to answer public questions, to resist being the commons comics and going for mockery instead of substance. Thomas Mulcair was right to be upset. Mr. Calander was wrong in his childish and demeaning non-responses. Now again, I don't condone Mr. Mulcair's slur on the speaker or his questioning the integrity of the speaker. But if the members themselves and their speaker blandly tolerate the everyday degradation of question period, there is a hit to the honor and dignity of Parliament itself. The gap Canadians see between what we reasonably expect from the House of Commons and what we actually get these days is about the width of the Grand Canyon and twice as deep. It's the whole parliamentary act that needs cleaning up. Honor begins with every member elected and a revived passion for dignity, civility, and seriousness. Mr. Mulcair went too far, but a lot of members with their daily demeaning behavior surely cleared the path that made his journey so tempting. Finally, the honor of the House radiates from the Speaker's chair, but it is not confined to it. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.